Hey everyone, I am so pumped for another month here at Sun Valley. It's time to kick off the month of November. I'm Tobin. This is Abby. Hi guys, super excited to be spending another month with all of you. Now Abby, this is all about the art of the shout out. You know what a shout out is, right? I sure do, Tobin. A shout out is a way that we can show others that we're grateful for them. Shout outs can be quiet, they can be loud, they can be written or spoken. And this month, we're shouting out how thankful we are. Wanna give a shout out? I wanna give a shout out to my sidekick, the hostess with the mostess. My best friend in the whole entire world, Abby, my amazing co-host. Thanks, man. And, and Abby? Mm-hmm. You want to give a shout out to anyone? Like your bestest friend in the whole world? Yes, I certainly do. Tobin, yeah. I want to give a shout out to my friend, Chris. Thanks for being so cool, Chris. No, like that isn't, that wasn't who I'm talking about. Like, no, that's not, What's well, Chris's? Awesome. that wasn't what I meant. Like you know I know mean, Chris, I mean, yeah, he's uh, kind of cool. I'll think about it. Who else can, can I give a shout out to? Until then, I say we stand up, spread out, and give a shout out to God with our singing and dancing because awesome. God is awesome. Awesome. So awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we worship him, to thank him for all that he's given us and to show him how much we love him. So get pumped. Are you pumped, Tobin? Sure. I'm pumped. Yeah. Let's what, do this. What have I done? Let's do this. You are above every other. Love amazes me. You created every beautiful color for everyone to see. I want the world to know. I want my life to show just what your love has done for me. Praise God, cause only you deserve it. I want the world to know, I want my life to show just what your love has done for me. Yes, 
I love it. Let's continue to give God a shout out. Let's go. You shine brighter than any star in the sky. Your light shining through the dark of the night. Jesus forever. I find all that I am in your love, love, love.
fantastic. Go ahead and find a seat. This month, we're giving a shout out because of gratitude. And gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you. Let's dive into this idea of gratitude. Now, you guys might remember a guy named Paul from the Bible. If you were here last week, you'll remember we were talking about Paul, whose official title was an apostle, which means he was sent out to bring the message of Jesus to others. Paul went on several long and faraway journeys from city to city, from the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea, all over. Uh, to talk about Jesus with everyone he met. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're starting off in the Bible today. The crazy eyes from the so-and-so show are gonna explain a little bit more. So sit back, relax, and, and check, check this, this out. out. Oh, John, John, oh. I prepared you a very special bowl of cereal. Awesome, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> mm. Mm. Actually, um, mm. there is something else I wanted to show you. Come here. Uh, is that a mini fridge? <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. I love refrigerating things. Yeah, sure. You was it no soda? No, no, but I do have this. What do you think? <laughs> you see, a cheesemonger is someone who selects various cheeses. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not that hungry anymore. I just ate a whole bowl of cereal. Come with me. Okay. Look. You're welcome. Those clouds are beautiful. I think I see a unicorn. <laughs> what do you see? Hey, did you like that cheese plate I sent you? Simple thank you would have been nice. And I'm John. And today on the So-and-So Show, we're talking about gratitude. Which is when you're happy you're graduating. No, that's gratitude. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was when you wear a really classy fedora and tip it at people jauntily. Hello. That's hattitude. <laughs> it's when you're being a sassy kitty. Meow. <laughs> Catitude. Today we're talking about when you're a mouse that wants to be a chef in an animated movie. Ratatouille, dude? Oh, that is fun. <laughs> it is, but you, you really do know what gratitude means, right? It's, it's about being thankful for things. Yeah, yeah. What's the problem? I don't know. Life is just really stressful this year. The quarantine, the social distancing, all of it. It's, it's hard to find things to be grateful for. Hmm. I know someone who might be able to help you. Someone who specializes in finding things. Someone who knows stuff. How's it going? Hi, Leonard. Boy, have a seat. <laughs> Thank you. For those people who may not be familiar, why don't you tell them who you are and what you know? Uh, my name is Leonard Fortescue and I am a profession Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> My name is Leonard Fortescue, and I am a professional metal detectorist. I search for lost and buried treasure with my handy dandy metal detector here. Her name is Camilla. If it's lost, I'll find it. But I, I'm trying to find things to be grateful for. I don't think you can help me unless what I'm grateful for is made of metal. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I find other things all the time. I even found a dog once. <laughs> Yeah, it was my own dog. Whoa, where was he? <laughs> he was in the backyard. <laughs> I don't know where he thinks of those things. I don't know why he's back there. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> well, However, <clears throat> in all my years of searching, one lesson I have learned is that you can find treasure in the strangest places. Mm. Sometimes in the sand, sometimes in the dirt, and every now and then, even in silk. 
Those are all really similar things. And in the spirit of that, I think we should play a game. A, a game? game? If you insist. Good in the bad. Leonard, do you normally go around with two big buckets of cottage cheese? You can't make me answer that. Now here's the general gist of the game. As you can see, these two vats are filled to the brim with moldy cottage cheese. But buried deep inside is a gold coin. Just like the first gold coin I ever found when I was seven years old. You found your first gold coin in a vat of cottage cheese. I've said too much. Find the gold coin and I'll let you keep it. Sound good? No. Now start searching when you hear the sound of the signal. All right, what's the signal? <coughs> oh, yeah, that looks good. If we look, go down deep. Look on the side. Oh, uh, 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 I found it. Ah, <laughs> you got it. See, even good stuff can come out of bad. Look at that gold coin you got. It's not a pure gold coin. It's like a chocolate gold coin. The wrapper's gold. Don't you want it? Not particularly, no. Well, fair enough. I'll take it. I'm going to be sick. Oh, yeah. You know what? We did learn something. What did we learn? Oh, that uh, chocolate goes really good with cottage cheese. You just take a big gump. Well, uh, oh. That's good. <sighs> hey, you sure you don't want some? Oh, it's Bible Story Time with Cameron! <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Cameron. Hey, thanks for filling in while our friend Kellen's on vacation. You bet. Hey, Cameron. What's going on? Ah, uh, it's nothing. I, I can't find anything to be grateful for. Oh, and my elbows smell like cottage cheese. Well, I can't help you with your elbow problem, but the story today might give your gratitude a boost. Great! What are we talking about? Today, we're looking at 1 Thessalonians 5.18. The Apostle Paul wrote, Give thanks no matter what happens. No matter what happens? That's what he wrote. How is that possible? I'm not sure. Maybe we can get some answers from Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. One day, Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter were walking home from a movie. Oh, I just loved that film, Count. As did I, Mr. Fritter. It's amazing how many sports that dog has learned to play. On their way, they encountered Wanda Watermelon, who was blocking their path. Excuse me. We'd like to get by, please. What did you say? Oh, dear. He said, Madame Watermelon. That you are blocking the whole sidewalk. Roll aside. Wow, thank you so much. That was very kind of you, Wanda. Thank you, Schmank you. She would not have budged were it not for my stern upbraiding. I showed her. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Count Lupe didn't give thanks like Mr. Fritter, and he paid the price. So let me just remind them what the Apostle Paul wrote. Give thanks no matter what happens. Give thanks no matter what happens? After what we've been through? Impossible! There is nothing to be thankful for after being squished by a watermelon. Oh, that's not true, Count. I'm thankful for our friendship. I'm thankful for how cute kittens and puppies are. I'm thankful for a clear day when the forecast said it was supposed to rain. Just look around at all we have to be thankful for. No! I refuse to look! Then feel the warm breeze. Smell the smells. At least listen to the sounds of nature. No! There's nothing to be thankful for. I am not listening. Roll away! Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we've seen enough. The point is, when you're not grateful, when we don't give thanks, there are consequences. We're probably not going to get squished by a watermelon, but not having gratitude can slowly turn you into someone who's rude and unhappy and grumpy all the time. And that's not good for anyone. 
So let's see what Paul wrote one more time. Give thanks no matter what happens. And then Paul gave us a really good reason to give thanks. God wants you to thank him because you believe in Christ Jesus. No matter what scary things are going on in the world or in your life, you can always be thankful that Jesus loves you and that he died for you and that he's more powerful than all the scary things, even death. What do you think of that, guys? Does that help? Absolutely. I'm way more grateful now. I'm grateful for Jesus. I'm grateful for the dulcet tones of Cameron's voice explaining biblical <laughs> concepts to me. There's so much to be grateful for. Thanks, Cameron. Anytime. I'm grateful for you, too. Uh, thanks. See you next time, Cameron. Next time. You know, I hope I don't feel like I'm leaving you out, buddy. I'm, I'm very grateful for you, too. Oh, well, I'm grateful that you're grateful. Oh, well, I'm grateful that you're grateful that I'm grateful. Are you trying to out-grateful me? Maybe. <laughs> Reveal the question! Oh, what are you grateful for? Yeah, it can be anything. Finding a $5 bill in your pocket that you forgot about. Or, or biting into a delicious mustard and gummy bear sandwich. No. Right. Oh, oh, or something huge, like knowing God sent his son to save us. Talk about it together. What are you grateful for? Oh, pandas. I think we've given them enough ideas. I love those pandas. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this has been the So-and-So Show. Do you know what you get if you cross a panda with a Neapolitan ice cream? Oh, I love jokes. Uh, I don't know. What do you get? Uh, a panda with ice cream in his fur. I think I just came out with a new invention. Gold coins and garnish cheese. Do it like an Oreo? I, oh, I oh, can yeah. do an Oreo. Yeah, look at that. Look, I was thinking, I think you taste a little different than John's black. Huh? Sweet and sour barbecue, cottage cheese. Ugh. Delicious. Okay, I can't eat more. <laughs> Man. <laughs> You know, it's one thing to give thanks. I have a lot of things that are going good in my life that I can easily give thanks for. And that verse is easy if it just says, give thanks. But the fact is the sentence continues and says, no matter what, no matter what is so much more difficult. It takes more work to, to, to be grateful no matter what. It means that you have to see your life with different eyes, believing that there's more than just what's in front of you, more than just the bad day, the bad situation. And I think that's why Paul said that you can give thanks no matter what, because you believe in Jesus Christ. And as a follower of Jesus, we do things differently. We love those who are supposed to hate. We serve those instead of grabbing for power. And we learn to give thanks, even when it's hard to see anything that's worth being grateful for. And as we live differently, other people will notice, not just us, but the one who's living through us. Today, think about this question. What are you grateful for? Maybe right now is an easy season and the answers will just fly out of your mouth for this question. But for some of you, the last few months have been really tough and answering this question may be a challenge. But remember, you can give thanks no matter what. So let's pray and thank God for sending Jesus. Let's ask God to help us be thankful no matter what's happening around us. Here we go. Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for being there for us in the good times and in the bad. I ask that you would help us to be grateful no matter what. Jesus, we love you and we thank you for loving us. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know what, Tobin? What's that? What? What's going on? I want to give two shout outs. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. First one, pumpkin pie because it's delicious. Oh. I shout out pumpkin pie because it's November and Thanksgiving. And you know, I love Thanksgiving because of family and friends and turkey. And did I mention pumpkin pie? You did? Yeah, pumpkin pie is pretty great. It's so good. And my second shout out is to my bestest buddy, the guy who's always making us laugh. Tobin. Oh, Abby, I <laughs> thought you were going to say mashed potatoes. Well, maybe I should have said mashed potatoes. That's a good idea. Oh, but no, you're, you're more important. Thank you. And mm -hmm. guys, join us next week for all things gratitude. Bye. Bye.
everybody. I'm Lawson, and I'm incredibly grateful that my mom made two pumpkin pies, because I don't think I can just stop with one. You can stop with one. The other one is for dinner tomorrow. Oh. Well, thanks for those words of wisdom, Mom. Even though my stomach is now sad. Be better. Anyway, I'm practicing gratitude, especially after an amazing story I heard from this girl, Ashanti, who's a friend of my cousin, Layla. Now, Ashanti and her older sister, Kendra, are going to drive way north of the city and hike on this incredible trail that Kendra discovered. And Ashanti knows it's gonna be the best day ever. But just as they're packing up to go, it starts to rain a lot for like 40 days and 40 nights. And Ashanti's like, no! The whole day is already messed up. But then, Ashanti sneezes three times in a row. So loudly, the walls shake. Now, they can't go hiking, plus Ashanti's getting sick. Kendra tries to cheer her up and says, hey, we can still make s'mores. And it's all going great until kablam! Ashanti tries to check it out. She gets hit with a puff of burnt marshmallow fluff. Ashanti is completely done with this day. She stares out the window, wondering how soon she can just go to bed. But then, Ashanti starts to notice something. The rain on the window looks really cool. She says, wow. It's like stained glass. Then Oreo, who's really Kendra's cat, comes up and curls up with Ashanti and purrs like a lion. And Kendra offers to teach Ashanti how to play chess, which Ashanti's been begging her to do for like three years. And pretty soon, Ashanti realizes that even though her day's not going to plan, she can still say, hey, thanks. Cause she's got a lot to be grateful for. So kids, never hike over Niagara Falls without a barrel. But do always remember that gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you. <gasps> Let's go! Uh oh. Tissues on the counter, throw drops in the cabinet. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go! Let's go! Oh no, you're not! Mom!